It's a wonderful day. Actually, it is afternoon. Technically but afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it amazing. Like you know, you hit noon and that all, all of a sudden, it's, yeah, it, morning's gone. <laughs> and uh, it's a wonderful day again. So we're going to read noonday prayers together and um, get off to a good afternoon. So That's right. All is good. And uh, on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
And our psalm is number 85 today, verses 1 through 6. Psalm 85, verses 1 through 6. So, You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. And blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury. And turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again? That your people may rejoice in you. Glory Glory to the the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. And we're going to read from chapter 20 of Luke. 20 and the first part of 21. In the first part of 21, yes. And so we're starting with verses 45. I believe so. Yep. Okay. In the presence of all the people, Jesus said to his disciples, watch out for the legal experts, the lawyers. Mm -hmm. They like to walk around in long robes. They love being greeted with honor in the markets. They long for the places of honor in the synagogues and at banquets. They are the ones who cheat widows out of their homes. And to show off, they say long prayers. They will be judged most harshly. Looking up, Jesus saw rich people throwing their gifts into the collection box for the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow throw in two small copper coins worth a penny. He said, I assure you that this poor widow has put in more than them all. All of them are giving out of their spare change. But she, from her hopeless poverty, has given everything she had to live on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So these are um, these are some great readings today, or some provocative pieces. Yes, I know, man. We like to avoid those lawyers. (laughs) Stay away from them. Uh, I, I, uh, with a little mock, I could say, "Thank God, I am not a lawyer." Yes, but I think I'd be falling into the trap, wouldn't I? It's probably well. That's exactly what the with the story right before that one. I think. Yes. Thank Thank, God, I'm not like that person. That's right. Thank God, I'm not like those people. Uh, And I have to remember that the law that they're talking about is actually the religious law. So he could have said, you know, watch out for those priests. Right. Who (laughs) like like, to wear long robes. Like to wear long robes. I know. I always love when we preach on this while we're wearing Long our, our robes. albs and our stoles, and then we're putting on our chasubles yeah, and all these yeah. fancy things. I think, think we're in trouble on that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, um, and I know you and I always try not to. Oh, of course. Uh, not to get uh, too big a head when we put on these things, because right. really the intention of uh, what what we are wearing is not to make us stand out, but to right. actually diminish That's right. us. That's right, yeah. Uh, to make us look just like everyone else, right. to not, you can't, um, mm-hmm. you can't then say, oh, I really like Bob's new, uh, right. new outfit today. Yeah. He's got a really sharp looking yeah. suit. And that's right. That's what you're looking at instead of focusing on God and that's on right. the lessons and on the consecration of the elements. And, yep. Not um, supposed to prance around in my Brooks Brothers suit. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we put on those long robes that covers That's right. everything up. And then all of a sudden Jesus says something Don't about us. Don't wear the long robes, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, oh. and that is a trap that a lot of a lot of priests right. do fall into is feeling like, okay, well, I'm putting on these long robes, uh, but that isn't, it's not what's talked about in here. It's to keep that from happening, and right. yet... Still, uh, priests tend we we tend to sometimes get a little ego. We like our our fancy stoles. We do. We like our <laughs> fancy stoles, and and we think, well, you know what? We are the ones who are wearing the collar. That's right. We are the ones who are wearing these robes, and so right. we somehow know better. We're 
we're sort of special. We are. We're in really our own way. special. We've got all the education <laughs> I'm the most humble and the person. training. Yes, <laughs> I know. I love when people talk about how humble they are. That's right. So, yep. so these yep. are. I mean, these are real traps that we fall into. And right. as soon as we start to think that we are exempt from them, that's when we're most at part. risk. Yes, exactly. And yep. and so when. When I put on my alb and I think, okay, well, I am now hiding this great dress I picked out to wear and, you know, on my, mm -hmm. on Sunday morning <laughs> and, uh, and I think, well, I'm okay because I'm putting this on and covering it up so no one can see it. And I am, um, extra aware of that and thinking, oh, how special I am because I, <laughs> I am diminishing myself. Well, now I'm falling into that That's trap right. again. Yep. And so, uh, I also think that it's interesting these two uh, these two stories paired together because they don't they don't automatically seem like they're connected right. or like they should be in the same the same reading or mm -hmm. same teaching, right. uh, but the pairing of these long robes and saying long prayers and doing all of these things for the sake of appearance or to right. elevate one's status actually connects directly to this next mm -hmm. the the next story that Jesus tells about this widow who's right. putting in her two copper mm -hmm. pieces and all of these other rich people. Right. Again, the CEB is great. All, you, you know, look around and see all these rich people right. tossing in these coins and you can hear the coins right. clanking. And I'm sure that there's a great amount of pride Right. That goes into who can make the most noise, right. whose clanks are loudest. Oh, look at those people. That clanging is going on and on and on. They are certainly giving a lot today. Right. And so it all, all of these, all of these stories and these lessons boils down to where our hearts are. Right. And when our hearts start to turn towards ourselves, mm -hmm. our appearance, the things that we have, the things that we're doing or saying, and how it's going to improve us or our lives or elevate our status, and we're no longer thinking of God, that's, that's the problem. Right. Right. When, right. We, when we start to be more concerned about appearance, Right. And about how others are perceiving us. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Well, it's, it's the authenticity of a gift, which right. has, as Jesus says, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. <laughs> yes. the, the whole idea of all these examples is, uh, is that you give out of gratitude mm -hmm. rather than out of making your appearance something or earning a place None of those is what giving and about living humbly is supposed to be. It's supposed to be really an attitude of your heart that gets conveyed in the way you live. Right. Right. And, yes. um, and, and all of this, I mean, obviously you've heard us talk through this now. It does, you know, man, I can't, just can't do anything right. I can't wear my clothes. I can't wear an alb. Nothing I can, you know, we, we, mm -hmm. we don't need to get so caught up in all of those details that again, we forget the point. Yep. Right. Because really the point is it, it doesn't matter because it's not about us. Yep. It's, it's just yesterday I had someone come make an appointment with me who wants to do a significant gift uh, $25,000 gift toward the building mm -hmm. to make a significant difference. And this person said, but I don't want to be recognized. It's not about me. I just want to be able to know that I gave something that made a difference. Right. And, you know, this person had a couple of ideas about where it might be useful to spend, but also said, but I'm not the one who knows how to do that. Mm -hmm you get a group of people who have those gifts and try to make the difference. But remember, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. All I want to do is do something that will make a difference. Yeah. Right. And, and it's that kind of attitude. Right. Exactly. That, um, that the gift itself is for the improvement of God's work, mm -hmm. but it's not about elevating the giver which is really the important part. So, yep. so anyway, it's good. Perfect story to end yep. on. <laughs> yep.
Yep. Okay. Um, let us continue with the prayers on yes. page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will, will be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. us. Save, Save us from, from the time of trial and, and deliver us from, from evil. evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we invite your prayers and thanksgiving silently aloud or by typing into Facebook where we can join with you. And we also uh, hope that you will pray with us for those on our parish prayer list. For Sue, Loretta and Howe, Rainey and John, John, Howard, Stan, Hope, Frank, Kelly, Gabe and Gio, Alan and Carol, Julius, Donna, Kathy, Dick, Martha, George, Nancy, Pam, Bill, Joe, Rob, Betty, Kevin, Shannon, Ruth, Rick and Robert, Cindy, Carvel, Jessica, Daniel, Genevieve, Emily and Kim, Brian, Meredith, Pam, Ruth Ann, Sean and his wife, Caitlin, Michael, may he rest in peace, and Lisa, his his wife and their children, Letta and Sarah, Stephen, Pat, Carolyn and James, and Dottie. We also ask that, as always, we may uh, have God's vision of a beloved community become our own vision for this world. We pray for peace in our nation and world and for deployed people everywhere, for scientists working on solutions for COVID-19 and the distribution of vaccines and for all medical and emergency personnel uh, still manning the front lines. And we have some- We have some birthdays, birthdays today. Yes. Um, in fact, um, one really interesting special day for two, for twin girls. Mm -hmm. Caitlin and Megan Piston, uh, two of our favorite twins here are having a birthday today, and uh, Hunter She mm -hmm. and Jack Alpagini. Yeah. So uh, it's a big day for birthdays this this day, the 17th yeah. of uh, June. A bunch of our so, youth are. Yeah, they're all, yeah. Uh, they're all young people, part mm -hmm. of this parish. So um, it was a very active day. That's right. Mothers given birth, especially twins. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> so... We will uh, give thanks for all of them and wish them the very best in this coming year. So all's good. And no anniversaries. No anniversaries. No anniversaries. Right. Tomorrow will be a bigger day in that regard. So all right. anything else? Uh, the weather forecast is looking like rain late on Sunday. So I think Sunday morning is going to be good for us. We've got to watch the temperature a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's We're going to have a, a, a really hot day Saturday. And, uh, and we'll see how Sunday is looking as we get closer yeah. and uh, about whether we should be outside or inside. So yeah. getting to that time of year where uh, the heat and humidity can be an issue. They so. certainly can. We are yeah. fortunate to have so much shade, but humidity especially, shade only does so much. Yep, yep. Okay, well, let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.